water bodies from all around the world are being choked, polluted and murdered, courtesy of the world's most invasive aquatic plants. So widespread is this menace that it has become a naturalized part of our everyday lives, thereby acting as a silent, destructive agent. Known as the world's worst water weed, water hyacinth has invaded freshwater systems in more than 50 countries. With the current rate of climate change, it will inevitably spread to even higher latitudes. Water hyacinth are unwanted weeds that aggressively spread over water bodies and affect irrigation, agriculture, fishing, inland navigation and tourism. Moreover, water hyacinth infestations are symptomatic of increasing water pollution. Their dense mat-like formations block both oxygen and sunlight supply, thereby weakening the underwater ecosystems. To make matters worse, water hyacinth infestations have become a major problem for farmers. As a result, every year before the cropping season begins, Indian farmers end up spending a lot of money to rid their paddy fields of these weeds. Now, what if we told you that we have engineered a solution so unique that it tackles all the aforementioned issues? In Nactus GMI presents to you Project Hayat. Project Hayat is an initiative wherein we are removing water hyacinth from water bodies with the help of local communities residing on the banks of River Yamuna. These weeds are then transferred to the land for vermicomposting. After drying, they are mixed with ash, soil and manure to produce a rich pathogen-free mulch. Isenia fetida or red worms then act on the same raising its nutritional value and significantly reducing the time required for the formation of nutritious compost. The formulated product will directly serve as an economical substitute for the harmful chemical fertilizers, thus eliminating another evil. The harvesting process will start after the vermicompost is prepared. This organic fertilizer made out of water hyacinth will be then packed and transported to the targeted consumer communities. Thus. Project Hayat converts a deterrent of biodiversity into a facilitator of new life. Our initiative will also provide a stable income to the involved communities, whilst augmenting their quality of living by improving the water bodies around them. After extensive research, we have finally reached the pilot stage of our project, and a sample batch of the vermicompost has successfully been prepared. Testing has been done on 12 different parameters such as nutrient composition, pH levels and water holding capacity. We are also in discussions with the Confederation of Indian Industries and other organizations for further large-scale implementation of our vision. That has been the journey so far. However, we are just getting started and we could not be more excited. Once implemented, our project will be generating a minimum revenue amounting to 2 million rupees annually by producing approximately 250,000 kg of nutrient-rich compost on 2.5 acres of land. In this process, we will be positively impacting the lives of over 3,000 people and will further provide employment to 57 individuals. Through effective implementation and meticulous research, we aim to reduce 8.54 metric tons of carbon dioxide in just a span of 6 months to revive River Yamuna from the deadly clutches of hyacinth infestations. Despite the energetic start to our enterprise, we haven't forsaken our climate-oriented priorities. Our project covers 10 of the 17 Sustainable Development Goals. Our vision also aligns with several government schemes for the betterment of society. Our plan is to further expand the project for maximum utilization of water hyacinth. We intend to produce several sustainable utility products like papers, handicrafts, bags, etc. by converting this weed into fiber. Water hyacinth can also be used for biogas generation, an arena we are looking to explore. Everything in this world is of value. If we look long enough, we will find a solution in the most unlikely, most ignored elements of nature. At Inactus JMI, we do not overlook, we oversee. And that is exactly what we plan to do with our Project Hayat. Oversee a new revolution.